Yo, it's Jack's Pet, straight out of the mouth. Now I just put up on Ron the Riches and Artistic Math Productions. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just been blowing my side and count this money, but need to stay away. I ain't been feeling myself, been stuck in the stump, been praying for a better day. So I just put on the beat, I taught myself and hope it all fade away. Tap the ego, real life homicide. I don't really want the fame, but I want the rich. I don't really want the fame, but I want the touch. Nigga, yeah, ain't no more chances. I always been a standout, and she said that I'm outstanding. I always been a standout, so I knew I didn't get some bands in. Fuck, nigga, ain't no more chances. Only got one shot, fuck, nigga, better land it. I got a fat ass night, I told that bitch to rub. I did, like, fuck it, I did, 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 I did. Like, fuck it, I did, I did, I did. like, got real crazy to the point where I didn't want to live. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Jax Pax, one of the top up and coming artists yeah, in Atlanta. What's going on, man? Up right, from the North, you say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know that, you know that. So, here, you know, we're, we're, he's a special guest of Artists and Math Productions. You know, I'm Ron the Rich, the guy behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Boy, boy. <laughs> Hope you caught that. Hey, yeah. And, you know, today we're going to get to your life, man. Now you got to start eating the game. So, first, you know, we're going to start with, you know, where he was born. Where you live and how you was raised. Start there. All right, shit. I'm born. Shit, what I born? DeKalb. Born in DeKalb, raised in Gwinnett. Grew up in Gwinnett my whole life. Um, raised. Shit, raised on family. Shit, I was a pretty good kid. Pretty good kid. Got in a little trouble, but shit, I don't know. I was, just, I was just real cool, real cool kid for most of my life. I say that. You know what I mean? Okay, so you know the, the principles like you know how he's raised in the blueprint. Around you, you know, really sets the stone, the stone sure. and the standards. For sure. So how you say like your your qualities and your your, your assets and say your details of life, how you grew up, like what, what inspired you to make music? Shit, I grew up. Me and my my older brother, we always loved music. He really loved music, and I used to like follow him. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. I grew up. I grew up with three brothers, one sister. You know what I'm saying? All. Uh, all living together, so shit. Honestly, I'm the youngest, so I, I really took everything. I, I learned a lot from them, and combined that shit into one, and that's how it turned out. But uh, yeah, me, me and my brother, we love music. He started rapping, I started rapping. That's how that went. So you know, most rappers, you know, they have like that one artist, right? Yeah. Kind of inspired over that group. So what would you say your favorite group or artist was at the time? When I started rapping? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, uh, Capital Steve. They used, to, they used to call me Young Steezy, like, for real, for real. Capital Steez? Capital Steez, yeah. He used to go with Joey Badass, Pro Air type shit. Okay, so, yeah. like, who, like, who was... Right, break, break down Capital Steez for young girls. You Capital Steez, man, he's on some fuck, fuck the government type shit, man. He's on some woke shit. Um, he spent some real shit, like, he's on some boom bat rap. But, man, I don't know. I latched on to him because he didn't give a fuck. He was just... He just did what he wanted, you know what I'm saying? Spoke his mind, type shit. So it's kind of like just free roaming with him. Yeah, something like that. Free the robot, shit like that, yeah. Okay, so for the world, so how was you, how was Jax Pax as a kid? Who Jax was Jax Pax internally as a kid? Who was, who was him personally for, for your fans? Shit. Growing up, Jax Pax, social butterfly, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loved Jax Pax. Uh, grew up playing sports, football, all that. Uh, Shit, you started. Yeah. What, what, hold on, what sport now? 
All, oh, I, okay, I grew up playing all sports. Now I play football, basketball, nigga, golf, swimming, lacrosse. I think that's it. Now, I think that's it. One day in grade, that's just me lacrosse. Yeah, for sure. For people in our culture, right? Uh huh. When, when we first told you to play lacrosse, I thought it was pretty weird. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I've sure. never seen a black person play for lacrosse until you sure. actually broke it down. Yeah. So, break down lacrosse for you know, for the fans. Like, like, like the actual sport? Yeah. All right, shit, it's three. You got three midfielders on each team. You got three defensemen, and you got three offensemen. Uh, three midfielders run back and forth, and you got a goalie, obviously. But the three midfielders run back and forth, defensemen defend, offensemen try to score type shit. Real aggressive though. That's that's why I like it. You, know what I'm you got to stick, beat up on folks. That's why I like. It. Real aggressive sport. Folks don't know that. Yeah. But that shit fun. All right. So, as as you get in your, in your music journey, right? What are some steps that like no one can't skip when you come into artists. Shit, I can't, I don't really want to say nobody can't skip nothing, but it take a lot of money to do this music shit, I would say that, so you gotta get the money first. That's from my personal experience, but folks be blowing up our TikTok and shit nowadays, so. Um, don't skip, shit the grind, nigga learn your craft. Yeah, yeah. Like, so do you, do you think artists should sit down Every night in order to craft, or is it like something you work on daily or something? Yeah, yeah like daily. Make I make some time for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got lunch break, nigga. Look up beats, get to it, type shit. So, so you, you, your 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 style of music. Yeah. If you just put yourself, create your own style of music, what would you call it? Mm, my own style of music. Yeah. Turn. <laughs> Turn. Turn. So yeah, it's yeah. club bangers, things like that? Nah, it's just, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. And what should like people listen to in your music? Shit, listen to what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I be talking about a lot of real shit. Listen to what I'm saying. I try to I try to make a positive, you know what I'm saying? Try to boost the vibrations if I if I can, you know what I mean? Okay, so you're like almost spiritual like spiritual. Yeah, I try to I try to be, but you know I mean the world fucked up, so I gotta talk about that too. Mm, so yeah. Alright, what's, what's one of your songs? Your, your, your top five songs people should listen to first minute? Search Jack's Facts. Shit. Family friendly song, man. This is what I put everybody on. This shit a banger though. Monday to Sunday. Got a video for that on YouTube. Fire. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. You can go get that. Um shit for songs. Lean on me, uh, hypnotize, push it, nigga. Like, every song, for real, for real, every song, go get that. On all platforms. So, Jack, so where do you see yourself in Up there. Up there with the greats. Up there with the greats, for sure. Lyric-wise, right, lyric, lyric wise, lyric wise inspirational-wise, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to inspire folk, like Chief Keef, like Kanye, Isla McConan. I'm trying to inspire folk, shit like that. So, you know, Kanye, Kanye Dapper is going on right now. That's what shit is, right? Yeah. So, you know, things that he said, Back then, way back in the 90s, mm -hmm. you know, came about today, right? Mm -hmm. So, you say something today, what was that one thing that you said today that you want to see, <laughs> you know, 10 years from now? Like, you know, like, man, I was on, I was with Ron's Riches, okay, not just Matt Productions. And this, this came, that's, I, I said that, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, what, what would that be for you? I'm gonna do everything they say that I can't, I'm the goat, bottom, straight up, you know what I mean. Yeah. Everything. Everything they said I can't, for sure. Yes, sir. All right, say, what was your favorite quote? Favorite quote? Quote. Favorite quote, words of wisdom, something that you look by okay. every day. Stay true. Stay true. Got it tatted on me, you know what For sure. Yeah, that's probably mine. And break down what stay true means. Stay true means being you, no matter what. Like. It don't matter, don't nobody else opinion get no give. Don't fucking matter if I'm saying nobody, it's you. You gotta stay true to you, what's in here, what's in here, type shit. That's real. For sure. Yes, sir. So what can the world can the world find you at? Uh Instagram you can find me at 78 Jacks Packs, two X's on both. YouTube, Jacks Packs, space in between Jacks Packs. Um Yeah, for sure. And albums. Let's talk about albums. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just dropped an EP called End Thesis. That's about 15 songs. That was really just something to get my emotions out there. You know what I mean? Um, 
Just a little something before the turn up. Before we go crazy, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Jax. So we gotta go inside. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll see if this is some of your bangers. All right, sound good. Yeah.